Hi there, welcome back for the season of 2021. Um, end of March 2021. Sorry about the traffic noise, nothing I can do about that. This is basically my tyre wall that I've started building. I have to try and get the same size tyres for it to get them to fit in there. The old washing line post which they hacked out, the ground level was higher than that. So that was sticking out after I leveled the ground out. So that's kind of covered up. So yeah, I'm just going to use all the bits at the top there, all that grass and stuff I'll put on the top of the tires so you'll probably hardly notice them once that bit is done. Had to move my composter. That's, um, I just turned the stuff over the other day. That's looking like it's, it's close to getting ready to, to use on my vegetable beds. Washing line post, I think I showed you before I moved that. Um, so I just put some tires there with some of the rubble to anchor it down a bit. Even though there is a concrete block on there. Got some of the spare tires from my spuds. Not going to be doing too many spuds this year. I will be um, just building them up to maybe one or two tire heights. Um, not higher than that because I found last year I didn't get many spuds on there. I think because the plant is concentrating more on um, growing leaves and growing upwards than growing on th than the actual roots. So this time I'm not going to get them to grow up too high. I'll build up the soil, like I say, one or two tire, um, height of one or two tires. So yeah, that's that side of the garden basically. I've still got some work to do there. Can't sift any soil because um, it's still wet. That's an old uh, door from something. It's Makes a good sieve. I just added some bits of wood onto there. For those of you that didn't see this on my previous videos or whatever, that's the other washing line post, which I'm not using at the moment. I took that pole out because it was situated somewhere just to the left of the tortoise and uh, it was a bit on the short side. So I've just made a plan with a, a pulley. Got my wash out. It's a lovely day today. So I just winch the stuff out from the window and when I need to get it back in at the end of the day just winch it back in, take the pegs off, job done. So, the garden. This is where I had some of my spuds and that growing last year. Not very good soil on this side I'm afraid. Uh, seems to be a lot of clay underneath there and it gets flooded quite quickly. Sort of where that bin is, my water container last time. I see my guttering got a bit twisted there. I have to straighten that out. Someone has stepped on that. They've been working on the shed roof on that, so I wouldn't be surprised it was one of them. Um, yeah, that's where my beans were last year. They did all right, actually, on that little patch. But I thought I'll just um, try and sort out a decent bed this year. So what I've done on the other side of the garden with old pallets, I've made up panels the width of the pallet and bits, the bits that go sort of downwards uh, see if I can check it there, like those bits on the end of those I've actually um, they stick out about a foot underneath the level of where the wood touches the ground so I sharpened those just by cutting them into a V shape with a hacksaw not a hacksaw, a wood saw and carried away yeah. um, and knocked those into the ground with a mallet just dug some holes knocked them in they sort of fairly secure uh, they're quite sturdy just nailed them all together with all the old nails from the pallets which I extracted this bit here what I was going to do is to put my pot plants there um, once the weather sort of settles a bit and it warms up a little and maybe put a bit of cling film over the top of that to make like a mini greenhouse but still with access from the edges from the, both sides so that's basically what I've done I've put all the soil in this raised bed now uh, just move this wash a bit out of the way so that goes all the way up to there and I'm going to be planting my beans in here this year and then on the end there I'll put those tires with maybe three or four spud plants in there. I don't think I'm going to do much more than that this year. 
So I'll just show you. These I've just put outside for the first time today. These are my bean plants, which have been in the pot for about three weeks, I think. And some of them are, I don't know, about three, four inches high. Some of them are higher, maybe six to eight inches, the biggest one. So they're coming along nicely. They probably The pots will probably be full of roots by now. Um, so I've got a whole lot of those. That I'm going to soon be planting out in the garden. And then about a week ago, just under a week ago, I planted some more. And they've now started shooting out this here and this. Those are potatoes. I've just taken a piece that I cut off the edge of a potato that has started growing roots. There's another one there. So I've got three of those so far and these bean plants and I'll be doing some more bean plants maybe in about a week's time. So to stagger them so that you get a crop um, on a regular basis. So when the one lot is finished producing then the next lot will start and so on. So I was going to try and do it maybe three lots so that you have a constant supply all the time. What I did, I put, uh, just bought some compost, which I've put in these pots. Just uh, mixed it with a little bit of the soil, just to get the plant also used to some of the soil conditions that it will be planted into. So I took some of the soil from the garden where they're going to be planted. I uh, don't know a lot about gardening, but you know, it can't do it any harm. So at least if there's anything in the soil, the plant can get used to that, but mostly it's 90% compost, which I just bought in a bag from the shop, and which I'm now just storing in my water container here at the moment. There's still some inside there. I had to put a stone on there because the wind took the lid off here during the winter time. Got all my mesh and stuff in here. Right, that's the bit that I've got left there, so I've still got some to do a few more pots. Put that back on there. So, basically, that's what the garden's looking like for the 2021 season. You know, it's been a year since the lockdown started, a year since I started first planting stuff in my garden, growing stuff to eat. And uh, yeah, I must say the beans were quite um, tasty, nice and fresh, crisp beautiful so yeah we'll see what this year brings just gonna give it another go I don't know what I'm gonna do on this side of the garden I'm gonna have to sort that out at some point but I think for this year I'm just gonna leave this bit concentrate on this side uh, try and maybe fill this up a bit more with soil from the top up there and of course some compost from my composter mix that in you don't want to be putting food stuff in there really because um, if it hasn't composted properly then you're going to get too much bacteria in the soil and I think that's what killed off the butternut plants last year. Plus they were too close together. Maize plants were disappointing because I don't think the soil is very rich in nutrients around here. So, you know, I'm just going to take a chance, plant those beans, they seem to do quite well, they're quite sturdy, the um, French dwarf beans, they seem to do quite well in this garden. So as you can see, I've got some extra bits of pallets and stuff which I collected, and I'm going to do some more panels for the other side by the fence there to close that off a bit, and continue with that raised bed, probably up to almost where those tires, that big stack of tires are. And I picked up a chair from the skip, which someone had thrown away. Still a perfectly good chair. It's got some scuffs and scratches on, but it's perfectly fine um, just when I want to take a break, when I'm in my dirty garden clothes or whatever. Perfect, nice, comfy looking chair. So yeah, basically that's it uh, for now. I'll do another update maybe in a week or two when I've planted out my bean plants and let you know how it's going. Hopefully the slugs are not going to eat the things and uh, demolish them and so on. And anyway, until then, I hope we get some good weather. Um, hope that you all stay safe and well. 
and we'll talk to you in a couple of weeks time I guess I'll uh, do an update and you can see what it's what it's like after that anyway bye bye for now